Hey guys, so here I am in the morning of my exam. I just did the Zoom session that I was supposed to have with my school. It was just an information Zoom with any questions for the exam or anything like that. Um, so now I'm about 40 minutes away from taking it and I'm just going over a couple of the final notes I made. I had some oatmeal. Hopefully that will keep me full for the next four hours yeah. and I'm just so anxious and I'm just keeping positive that I'm gonna pass and everything's gonna be good. Hi guys, my name is Natalie and I am going to dedicate this channel to my nursing journey. I have embarked on this journey for about two and a half years now. Um, I did my LVN in 2017 and long story short i moved got married i went to a community college where i'm currently living i finally applied for the rn program and i was so thrilled when i got accepted to take their hesse entrance exam 24 students got selected out of 200 or so because of this whole covid thing and other schools nearby closing down and today i took my test I was so nervous, but I just got done a little bit ago and I passed. So I am really, really happy right now. I had to get an 80% minimum in every section. I had vocabulary, I had math, uh, reading comprehension, grammar, and anatomy and physiology. I got 100% in the ANP. And honestly, it was so easy, at least for me it was. I got 100 in the math, surprisingly, because I am not that confident in my math. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm good with the basics, which is what you need for this test, basically. I got 90% in my vocabulary. Happy about that. Some of them, some of the questions were a little bit um, tough. As in, I, I didn't see those previous uh, vocabulary words prior when I was studying for this test, so that kind of eh, threw me off there, but anyways, I passed it. And for my grammar, I got an 88%, and I also got an 88 for my reading comprehension. Overall, I got a 94.50 as a cumulative grade, so yeah. And, um, now I'm just awaiting to see what comes next, and I don't start my are in uh, course until this August for fall semester. So um, I guess I will be uploading more stuff as time comes. Things that helped me succeed in my exam were mainly Nurse Hub and the Pocket Prep app. So with Nurse Hub, I was able to get a coupon to help with that because it was expensive it was fifty dollars but with the coupon it dropped it down to twenty five and then you also have the money back guarantee which none of you guys need it because you guys are all gonna do great and just keep up those positive vibes but yeah so that's how much nurse hub was uh pocket prep is like fourteen ninety nine a month did have some issues with the app at first with it would keep logging me out and then setting me back onto like the free version and to up to update to premium etc hey so like they finally decided to update it into a new app just this last week week before my exam and that that new app is a lot better and it's nice because it, it um passed everything over from the previous one to that but anyway so with pocket prep it was good i mainly liked that one for the vocabulary and the a and p was good as well like i said but it seemed like the math anyways that gave me more challenging questions than i really needed um on the actual exam but regardless it still gave me like fractions and you know uh decimals uh proportions ratios all, all that stuff but uh nurse hub was the best i felt because it actually broke it down even further and i liked how it actually timed you and it was just a lot better for me so that's what i use as far as each section that i took um i'll start with a and p so a and p was the easiest for me um it seemed fairly basic. I probably got done maybe like 15 minutes into it just from how similar the questions were that I had encountered before um, like on the Nurse Hub uh, app. But yeah, that one wasn't, you know, too bad. Like if you use Nurse Hub and uh, Pocket Prep, even some Quizlets actually, I didn't necessarily look up any Quizlets. I um, 
would look up um you know further explanations and some of the questions that i had a nurse hub or the pocket prep and you know then quizlets would pull up and you know further give you like obviously questions and then the answers and but anyways that's what helped me with that the a and p and i also it also helped that i have taken anatomy and physiology as prereqs for my school some requirements to be in this uh program obviously so that helped me. Um, the math, not one of my um, strongest, you know, subjects. But either way, it wasn't bad. So I encountered a lot of proportions, which were super easy for me. I mean, it's just basic, you know, the multiplying and whatever, finding the x. I also had some adding fractions. I had subtracting fractions. I had multiplying fractions. I had about maybe four, four or five word problems, but they were easy. They were also proportion ones, and uh, there was a, an addition one, subtraction. There was one that I don't remember what it asked me anymore because it was like the second one I got and I almost like had a little panic attack there because it seemed eh, quite intimidating and I guessed on that one but I, I actually guessed the right answer so don't leave any blanks you never know you might just click the right one that's the only a uh, hard one that I encountered I also had a uh, some kilometers to meters which like I said if once you take your test, try to write down, you know, your conversions and all your uh, measurements. That way you'll remember. I also had a couple which decimal is the greatest, you know, just change. I just changed them to percent. So, for example, like 0 0.6, you know, I just changed it to percent, 60 percent. And I did that to every single answer. And, you know, that's how I selected the right one. I also had... I just had one, if the order was 1500 grams, how many milligrams would you give if it's 1 ml per 50, for, uh, with 1 ml equals 500 milligrams, you know? So that was that one, that one's really easy as well. But yeah, like I said, Nurse Hub, like majority of those like word problems that I had, I had already encountered them in Nurse Hub. Well, not 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 to the exact same value, but words and everything and the change of numbers obviously and everything but uh, that application honestly was like you know life-saving so i recommend that one but anyways math was good it took me a little while you know doing all the math work and everything but it was fairly fairly easy i also had oh i actually had uh only one equation where i had to do the whole pemdas thing so remember pemdas that came in handy then yeah that was it okay and then vocabulary so like i said vocabulary um pocket prep was good with that you know wherever i went in the car anything i kept going over and over like probably like i don't know maybe like 20 times or something and there was about 200 vocabulary words in there so i did all of those all of nurse hubs they were quite similar but even then i still had some vocabulary words that i hadn't seen before on the actual test i can't remember the top of my head now but there was some that I was just like, huh, where did this come from? So I had to guess, but I don't know. I do Take your best guess, you know? Uh, for grammar, grammar was a little bit tough as well. Um, it was grammar and reading, reading uh, comprehension that I got the lowest, 88%. In. But for the grammar, I would definitely say nurse hub again. Pocket prep is good, you know? Just especially the subject verb, that one... I had a lot of uh, problems that had the subject verb agreement thing and then uh, which fill in the blank like which word fits here best you know which will make it best I had I think like two apostrophe ones like how would you write the apostrophe or something on it I also came across a problem that I didn't expect on the grammar was like how would you label this like letter you know the address I provided you with the address and then you had to switch it around to make it into the how you would mail a, a letter to somebody which was uh quite like huh but you know good thing that i've sent letters before so that wasn't too bad i guess review that you know you never know if you'll have it that's all i can think of for the grammar well dependent clause independent clause like i said all that with the nurse hub will will help for reading comprehension i mean it's that one's self-explanatory so i was kind of like worried about it even though i am a good reader and i enjoy reading it's still different when you're actually sitting there trying to pick everything out like draw a conclusion of 
<clears throat> everything you just read and they kind of give you some answers that are like, huh, is it that or is it that, you know? Rest were just like, oh, according to the passage, what is true? And obviously for that, then you just go to the passage and find the answer there. Some, what does this word mean on the passage or how else could you use it? But not too bad. I, I had uh, four hours for the exam. And I uh, I took 143 minutes, so, you know, whatever that equals out to. Nobody wants to do any more math. I mean, I had plenty of that. Let's see. Yeah, so now I just gotta wait and see what other word I get from my school. But trust yourself, be confident, and don't stress it. Oh, uh, before I forget, so I guess the only one other thing. So I had to take my test in ProctorU, and it wasn't actually as bad as I thought like uh, a lot of youtubers say that somebody was watching them and you know i don't know they had to show their own but mine was quite different so with mine i literally just turned on my laptop i logged into proctor u pressed the start the session you know and i just got asked to center my face on the little red lines you know on the laptop and then to show my id also on the line yeah it wasn't bad like i just had to launch like the app you know it actually did ask me to like unzip a download and unzip like uh the app uh, that was it so that wasn't bad it wasn't as intimidating as i thought where somebody was going to be staring at me the whole time which that would have made me probably a lot more nervous, but either way, it, it wasn't bad. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys all do well. Good luck on your exam.